all these encoders um, are good as long as they can deliver compression gains, but um, what to use, what to pick, and why at all, actually, you need a new encoder. AVC is there, stable, universal. You need new encoders for this three simple, everyone knows reason. Um, save on bit rates, um, deliver low bit rate at the same quality, uh, cheaper cost on uh, the growth, uh, so you don't need to have um, accommodate for more bandwidth if you can deliver lower bandwidth at the same content, better video quality as well. Um, you do want to deliver new technologies like 4K, 8K, HDR, high frame rate, which are very fancy technologies, VR. Uh, high frame rate is very important for Twitch or gamers in general where uh, P60, why not P120 at some point, if it is uh, big, the bigger the size, the higher frame rate have a better effect, 10 bit, which I didn't mention here, and also to reach new markets. You know, some, some areas of the world that cannot, del cannot watch our 1080p60 at six megabits or or more than that. So it's good to have a technology where we can deliver our best quality at a lower bit rate so that we have m m more customers. Um, I don't think people would disagree that beyond AVC, no codec will be universally used. Already, if you look at the current states of the market, lots of platforms support HEVC, lots of platforms support VP9, lots of them support either, some of them support both. So there is definitely, if you want to keep your market and moving to new codec, you need to really study carefully where you want to go. Um, this is um, from um, uh, Bitmovin website. Um, just to show you how the browser market, which is growing in the video consumption, is being split, actually. If you look at um, the middle two rows, H.265 and VP9, um, you can see HEVC is mainly on uh, Explorer and Safari, where VP9 is on Edge, Chrome, and Firefox. And again, here is a point where if depends on where my customers or my viewers are, which codec is more suitable for me to move on.